After months of research, scientists have identified the pathogen at the heart of the starfish wasting disease. They say it's different from all other known viruses infecting marine organisms. They've dubbed it sea star associated densovirus. When you look on a scale of hundreds and hundreds of animals as we did, it's very clear that the virus is associated with symptomatic sea stars. Ian Hewson is a microbiologist at Cornell University. He's the lead author of the study, and he says it's rare to figure out what causes marine diseases. In every drop of seawater, there's 10 million viruses that uh, basically we've had to sort through to try and find the virus that is responsible for this disease. Researchers collected tissue samples and analyzed them for all possible pathogens. Once they had identified the leading candidate, they tested it by injecting the densovirus into healthy starfish in an aquarium. Then they watched to see if the disease took hold. When we inoculated them, they died within about a week to 14 days, whereas controls, which had received sort of viruses that had been destroyed by heat, did not become sick. They remained healthy for, for weeks. What's strange, Hewson says, is that West Coast starfish have been living with the virus for decades. Researchers detected the densovirus in preserved starfish specimens from as far back as the 1940s. It's probably been sort of smoldering, sort of at a low level for a very long time, and then eventually it becomes sort of an epidemic. Something seems to have been the trigger to make this from some sort of benign infection into something that is really widespread and affecting so many different species. Now that scientists have identified the virus, the next step for Houston's team is investigating what environmental factors might make starfish more susceptible to it.